An assembly must be defined and then built to make it available to sell. To define and build assemblies, first be sure all component items have been added to inventory individually. So we have the hard drive, we have the processor, we have the monitor, and we have the keyboard plus the time to install the hardware. So we have everything. Now let's click add from the item list. Enter a descriptive name for the assembly item in the item name field. Refurbished Acer computer. In the item type field, choose assembly. If the items included in the assembly come from more than one department or vendor, you may want to set up a new department and or vendor called assemblies or similar to that to track and report the sale of the assembled items. You can enter a size if you want to, the attribute. You can enter a price. We will enter 500. You cannot enter an average unit cost or an on-hand quantity at this time. The quantity will be created when you build the assemblies. The average cost will automatically calculate as the sum of the average unit cost of the component items. This cost will be recalculated each time you build or break assemblies. Keep in mind if you don't add a regular price, Point of sale will autofill the field with the sum of the component item prices once they are added. You can also edit the price later if needed. You need to enter a tax code. The entire assembly will be taxed or not based on this code. You cannot mix taxable and non-taxable item component items in an assembly. You can enter the UPC or if it's a going to be entered with a quick pick group. You can enter the vendor. Since we're creating the item on our own, we are the vendor. Once you're finished entering all the information in any of the other fields that you want, click Save. Now that we've defined the assembled item, the next video will show you how to build assemblies. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when I make another video about point of sale. Thank you, everybody.